Hi, my name is James Clem. I want to talk about a secret I have. Maybe it's not a secret, but it sure adds quality to my life and to the quality of the restorations that I produce, particularly when we talk about Emacs. The secret to finishing Emacs, and again, we want to avoid bubbling with our glaze, whether I'm using the fast new accelerated cycle or traditional cycles using crystal glaze, I just don't get bubbling. Part of the reason for that is that I thin my glaze out enough to remove any excess organic material that may not dry off as you're firing your restoration, which creates the bubbling, which is not too cool. The Diamond Twist by Premier provides a nice finish to my Emacs surface before I add the glaze. What I want to do is remove those little scratches that come from the milling. I like it better than polishing wheels. As you watch how it's being used, I stay away from the proximal contacts because I don't want to remove the proximal contact force. But Emacs in an intermediate phase is more like a chalk. It's a hard chalk. The Diamond Twist is where I really take that surface texture and make it smooth. As a result, I can place a thinner viscosity of glaze even when I'm brushing on using the accelerated cycle. I do not see bubbles. This is something that will really be helpful to you if you're not using it already. You don't necessarily need to buy the kit. If you look at the numbers at the bottom of the screen, these are the Patterson numbers to buy the fiber wheel, the polishing wheel by Premier, and also the mandrel that it fits onto. It's not that expensive and they'll last you a long time. Now here's one warning that you've got to be careful with. I don't know if you've ever had a rug burn. I had a few rug burns wrestling with my brother on the carpet when I was young and they hurt. Um, you can get a rug burn if you <laughs> polish your fingernails and your tissues around your fingernails. So be careful with that because it will create a rug burn. Just thought I'd warn you about it. It's a wonderful polisher, something I couldn't live without and it's what I use every day in my CEREC clinical theater here at my practice and also in my teaching experiences at my center. By the way, we're having a great time here at Cat Star Teaching Center. It's, we've been open a little over a year now and our classes are full. In fact, a lot of them are sold out and I'm humbled by that, but yet it also demonstrates some great learning. Here's the thing about my classes, I keep them small so I can give personalized attention to every person who comes, whether it be a clinical team member or a doctor. And we have a lot of fun. It's in my practice and we have great food too. But most importantly is our, our students, our attendees, they go home really motivated. And what I care about is that it makes a difference in your life. So hope to see you at one of our hands-on classes if you haven't been to one yet. You can also catch our training and approaches at catstar.tv. That's our online training here from Catstar. It's exciting. We have been viewed in over 150 countries. It's humbling as well, but our goal is to provide quality education and it's what I do every day in a the clinical theater. So my hands are wet in dentistry. I pass that on. It's the way I do it. Cheers, I, when I'm working on patients. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you real soon.